Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we got some news about an art contest that'll be coming out. We talked a little bit about this back when the first movie came out and the same company that is hosting this art contest, which is called Talent House, uh, they are going to do another art contest for uh, Let There Be Carnage. So for those of you who want to enter this, that's why I want to make this video because I know a lot of you guys who watch this channel have sent in artwork before that you've made. Some of me and some of just other stuff in general that are Venom related or Symbiote related. And I know there's a lot of talented people out there that, uh, you know, that watch this show, which I'm very, that's very awesome and I'm very grateful for. So I wanted to make this video pretty much for you guys in case you want to enter this contest. Um, I will put a link to the website down below that'll go over the, the rules, I guess in more detail but also know uh, the, that the rules are apparently fluid because as i looked up the winners for the first contest which i'll have a link to that down below so you can see a list of all the the artists who won the first time but i'll put some of their artworks and name and stuff like that up there for you guys to see now um some of these people i think there was like 10 winners or so but i think originally they said they were going to pick maybe five and i think 10 got picked um, this time around, I think they're also saying they're going to pick five, and I believe the reward is around $2,000. Now, I don't know if that's a $2,000 in scholarship funds to go towards like an art school of your choosing, or if it's like cash, you know, whatever. I actually don't know all those details, and the website doesn't really clarify all that. Uh, but what they say to consider when you're turning in your piece of artwork is that you should showcase the epic symbiote battle between Venom and Carnage in your poster. Now that doesn't mean you have to have them fighting. Again, there's some wiggle room on some of these rules because as I looked at the winners of the first contest, they weren't apparently supposed to show the actors faces or like Eddie Brock's face or, you know, um, Riz Ahmed's face or Michelle Williams face. They weren't supposed to draw those characters, like interpret those actors. Uh, they were just supposed to draw the monsters, but some of the ones that won did draw Tom Hardy or Michelle Williams or Riz Ahmed. So apparently there's some flexibility here. Uh, they're just saying, consider these things. And they're not saying that they're absolutes, uh, I guess. Um, so when they say draw Venom versus Carnage fighting, I guess you don't actually have to have them fighting. They could be about to fight or they could be standing side by side, or I guess it's up to you how you want to interpret a, a battle between them. Um, so yeah, so they want Venom and Carnage on it for sure. Uh, the tone of the artwork must reflect the film, which they say is dark, visceral, and intense, although I feel like there's some comedy uh, in the trailer, so I feel like if you drew something that had a little comedy edge to it, I feel like that wouldn't be a bad thing, but again, don't quote me, go off of what these, you know, these considerations say, um, try to stick to these as close as you can, just don't feel hindered by them if you have a creative idea is basically what they say. Um, so then they give you a link to the official trailer, um, they give you like uh, links to download the, the official font, the Venom movie font, um, so that way you can download that and use it, uh, you know, on your poster. Um, and then there's also the social media channel, so they have links to their Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for the movie, and again, like I said, you can download the font. Um, they say, uh, you know, this is for the whole world. So anyone in any market can, you know, win. There was people in Peru and Sri Lanka and all over the world that were, you know, turning in art last time. So they're saying if you're going to turn in art this time, when you go to this website, and again, I'll put a link down below, you're going to want to submit your artwork in high res, you know, probably 300 DPI or more. And if you don't know what that means, go look that up. Uh, because recently I bought some Heroes prints off of eBay. And the guy had no idea what 300 DPI meant. And he just grabbed like a, a really crappy image off of Google images and printed it on really nice quality photo paper. But it doesn't matter how good the paper is. If you take a really small image that isn't 300 or 600 DPI or 300 or more, uh, but at, at the very least 300 DPI, and you try to blow it up to like 11 by 17, it's going to look like garbage. Uh, it's going to look really bad. So again, just make sure you understand what you're scanning it in the high res means when you go to FedEx or Kinko's or wherever you're going to go, make sure you're scanning it at a high resolution. You want it to be a PNG or a JPEG image or file. So when you, you know, do that, when you go scan it, ask them to save it to a jump drive for you uh, at a, as a PNG or a JPEG. Um, and then it has to be a maximum of 10 megabytes. So make sure the image isn't too big because it's going to have to be sent or uploaded through this website or sent through an email kind of thing. So you don't want it over 10 megabytes. Um, and uh, so don't send them like a Dropbox links. Uh, they don't want that. <laughs> don't do that. Um, and then they want it to be around 27 by 40 inches, again, at 300 DPI or more. Um, or if you're going to, that's if you're going to do a poster this way, if you're going to do a wide poster, a portrait poster, they want it at 40 inches by 27 inches. And again, 300 DPI. Um, things we don't want to see, though, your design must be original artwork. Uh, it should not include any references to religious symbols, political symbols, or monuments. 
There must be no nudity or pornography, curse words, or vulgarities. So those of you who like to ship characters, don't send in that kind of artwork. They don't want to see that. They don't want to see a cross in the background, even though this scene, you know, there's a scene that takes place in a church here. If you notice, there was no cross in that scene. Um, so again, they're, you know, they're a company and they're trying very hard not to uh, push any boundaries and they want uh, just venom and carnage on this poster that you draw. So uh, so just stick to the basics. Uh, uh, no humans, only non-human characters. So again, they say things we don't want to see. No humans, only non-human characters. They say that, but yet, and they said that the first contest, but yet people who won the first contest, some of the winners did have human characters in their posters. So again, I guess if your creative itch is just like, I gotta draw Tom Hardy and include him in this, I guess go go with that itch but just know that you might risk not winning or you could win because because you did it I, you know so it's they say it's things they don't want to see but you know whatever uh looks like that's uh that's iffy um so from a global market they're going to get uh two uh early entry creators and three finalists each creator will receive two thousand dollars and potentially potentially have their work featured across the film's marketing campaign including social accounts, print materials, and merchandise. Because I think they picked like 10 winners for the first round, but they didn't use all 10, I don't think, in their marketing. One of them, I think they did, a, a kid from Peru. I have his poster on my wall, actually. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was cool looking. Um, it's pretty simple, but I like, sometimes I just like simple. And uh, and it just it was just an image of Venom. But, uh, but yeah, so I guess you get $2,000. Again, it doesn't specify if it's, because I think one winner in the first contest got it as a, um, like a, a school grant, $2,000 school grant or towards his schooling or something, but maybe he asked for that. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they give you an option of how you want your $2,000. Uh, sometimes contests like this, they always, they sometimes rub me the wrong way. Cause I've seen like Annabelle creations did a contest like this. And sometimes they do things and they, they offer you only like 50 bucks and a chance to be places and potentially this. And that's just them having to be careful. Like they have to word it in a way to where nothing can really come back and bite them legally. So they have to be very, um, I guess, direct, uh, but also like a little vague too with, with things. Uh, so that way they have some wiggle room. So when they say, hey, if, you, if we pick you as a winner, that doesn't mean you're going to get flown out and go to the premiere and meet the cast and do a signing like some winners did with the first movie. Um, it doesn't mean any of that. It just, it, you know, they're saying potentially that stuff could happen. Um, but chances are you'll at least get, I guess, the $2,000. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So anyway, so those are that. They'll list all the uh, guidelines, um, like who's eligible, how to submit, um, all that stuff. It'll, I'll put it you know, in the link down below so that way you guys can see how it all works out. But I just want to make a quick video on this so that those of you out there who are artists that watch this channel, you can go and uh, and submit to this. And there were, uh, you know, I'll put a link to the, the winners of the first contest down below too. And you'll see that there was one guy in the comments that was like a very sore loser. Um, and he was pointing out the fact that, hey, I didn't draw human characters and you didn't pick mine, but you picked someone who did draw human characters. And he was using that as his basis for his argument of like, you know, how, how can you do that? Like I would have drawn human characters if that was okay to do. And it might've made my poster cooler or more interesting. You know, it's like, hey man, whatever. It's their, it's their rules. You know, if they pick a winner, you just got to suck it up and be like, hey, I'll try harder next time or I'll, uh, now I know and I'll, I'll do it differently next time, whatever. So, uh, but I'll put a link to that down below so you can see some of those winners from Talent House and I'll put the current Talent House, I'll put that link first and then the, the winners of the first one, I'll put that link second down in the description box. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to enter this contest. Some people asked me if I was going to do it. Um, I am, I am okay at doing pencils and stuff like that. I'm not very good at doing colors. So if I did this, I would have to collaborate with someone who's good at doing inks and colors and uh and then we would have to split the prize money i guess uh, you know but that would i, I don't know I, I don't know how that works so i don't know if that will pick us because we're two winners they might not pick us because they don't want to fly two people out uh you know for one piece of art you know stuff like that so because i'm not very good at colors and things like that i i doubt i'll enter this contest um it does end i think at the end of this month in june um and then i believe the the or that's like the early entry cutoff is later this month in june like the around the 21st or 22nd and then the final like cutoff is july 2nd so you know a month from yesterday because it's july 3rd when i'm recording this so there's all the details that i have right now but there's more at the website so go check that out down below and let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you're going to enter i hope you do if you're an artist out there i hope no matter what you think your skill level is i think you should do this i think it will be fun and 
who knows what they're looking for, who knows what might work. And like, hey, you might draw something like, hey, this might not work for uh, marketing in America, but it might work in another country. So we might actually take this, even though um, it might not work here, but it could work somewhere around the globe. I say try it. You never know until you do. So uh, so good luck if you do. Um, thanks so much for watching the show. As always, I'll have more Venom Vlog episodes coming up very soon because we have some new Venom news for the comic books. And I'm going to try to record that episode next and get that out to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much. See you in the future. Peace.